Hey YouTube, this is one of those videos I don't even know if I'm going to post, but uh, if I do, I want to give a shout out um, to Linda Kirby, she just did a video on Senate breaks dumb filibuster clearing way to end government shutdown, and uh, I made a little rant comment here, basically, you know, talking about, you know, what do the immigration issues have to do with the budget? I mean, I realize that, you know, in the budget, there are some immigration costs, but I mean, in the total scheme of things, immigration is just small potatoes in the overall, uh, you know, scheme of things as far as the total budget goes. So, and then I just uh, pointed, pointed out that, you know, we really need to get behind our president because he's doing everything that he can do to try to drain the swamp. And it's not as easy as, uh, you know, we want it to be. Um, truth is, we've, you know, been going south for a long, long time. And um, most people have just left it up to the other guy to do something about it. And, um, you know, now uh, it's a pretty bad situation. You know, they're talking about this... Uh, Intel memo coming out. It's going to be the end for a lot, a lot of people, including probably Obama and Hillary and uh, a lot of the people in the FBI, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, which is kind of surprising because I used to hang out with some FBI agents days gone by, and uh, I was into uh, technical diving, really, really deep stuff, well beyond the sport limit. You know, the, the, the ones I knew were great people, very good morals, good ethics, very trustworthy. And uh, so it's totally mind-blowing that, uh, you know, you heard so much, so many things about the corruption in the FBI now. So hopefully they'll get that cleared out because those, those are some fine people, at least the ones I knew again. <clears throat> so... You know, I just, I guess I got, I kind of got the blues today because I see so much going on and uh, I'm really concerned. I'm really worried for so many people. Um, and I just don't, I, I can't figure out how to reach more people than I do as far as getting them to see what's going on. I mean, the system itself is kind of <laughs> way screwed up. I mean, how is it these guys can, uh, you know, have government shutdowns but still get paid, still get a paycheck? I mean, doesn't common sense say that, that if the government shuts down, that the politicians that allowed this to happen shouldn't get paid? I mean, what, what you need to do is you need to take this away from them, you know, take this away. And then, you know, they might have a little incentive on uh, getting something done. But if they're getting paid to try to blackmail the president and to force, you know, things into the situation, the total scheme of things that shouldn't be there in the first place, so, you know, no, nothing's going to happen. So it, it's just a case of blackmail. That's all they're trying to do, blackmail them. So... I think they ought to deal with things one thing at a time. That's just my take. But um, what I'm seeing in the state of the world right now is, you know, we're, we're in pretty bad shape. I mean, if you, if you look at what's going on, I mean, natural weather-wise, I mean, Mr. BB333, you know, I haven't even looked at this video yet. Surprise giant waves. Uh, you know, hit. I guess they had a tsunami going on. Then we've got all these meteorites and everything coming through. And we've got all these missile threats. And we've got all these diseases. And, you know, we've got all these false teachers like Cleck here. You know, he's. He wants to talk about everybody else's demons, but you know he'll sit, he'll sit up there and say he's a fallen angel. 
and, and why almost 100,000 people listen to him just blows my mind. I mean, the guy flat says he's a fallen angel. He actually says we're all fallen angels. Twists and contorts, contorts the, the scriptures beyond anything I've ever seen. And then we have the haters. You know, I watched a video last night, wrapped the news, and uh, he's talking about the white man as the Gentiles, and we're all the seed of Satan, and, you know, it's divide and conquer. It's, uh, it's Albert Pike's Freemason, you know, plan <clears throat> for World War Three: divide and conquer, get everybody fighting, and these people don't get it. But, you know, Rapp will talk about how much he believes the Bible, then he turns around and says, uh, you know, Paul the Apostle, Paul, you know, Apostle Paul was uh, the false prophet. I mean, <laughs> how can you believe the Bible, at least in, in its entirety, if you think that Paul is a false apostle? So he wrote half the New Testament. I mean, come on. So the madness is just totally out of control, you know. And and people don't don't seem to have any kind of discernment anymore. And um, here's a good video uh, channel you might want to subscribe to. Vigilant Angel it used to be uh, something else, Angel of the Apocalypse, but they they shut them down like they're doing so many other uh, YouTube channels now. And um, I mean the censorship is out of this world. I've had videos, you know, censored. I had a video. <clears throat> recently since they've been up for a couple of years and and they removed it and they said uh, hey you know even though you didn't break the guidelines you might offend some people so we're gonna we're gonna you know hide your video we're not gonna show the view count and uh, we're not gonna allow people to find it you know so uh, <laughs> the deck stacking is just out of this world and so many people, their channels are being shut down. I mean, I'm routinely going in and, uh, you know, look, going through my subscriber list to, and, and they're just gone. I bet you I've deleted 75 different channels in the last two months. They're just gone, vanished, history. And, um, you know, a lot of people depend on these uh, videos for money. I've never monetized a video in my life. I, I saw it coming. I, I didn't want YouTube to have that kind of control. And as a result of that, I don't think they, you know, really want to promote my videos. They're probably not advertiser friendly anyway. So, you know, it's, uh, it's kind of a shady situation, but uh, basically, I just wanted to encourage people to get involved uh, I mean I know a lot's going on and, and but you know the tendency seems to be to let the other guy deal with everything and um, you know sit back and let Trump fix the world and you know it took us decades many decades to get in the situation we are and, and you know they expect him to fix it overnight and you know I admit I get restless too you know I've said quite a few times, drain the swamp already, drain the swamp already, but uh, I guess it takes a little time. So, but one thing that we can do is we can, uh, you know, the, these fake mainstream news media outlets that just come up with these fake stories. I mean, like that story, you know, that he called Haiti a shithole, you know, uh, pardon the language, but that was the, that was the news, so. Um, uh, yeah, I didn't hear, I didn't see a video. I didn't, I didn't hear an audio the way he actually said that. Actually, there are other people in the room that I didn't hear him say that either, but yet they ran with it and they ran with it and ran with it and ran with it. I mean, they just went on and on and on. I mean, that's totally irresponsible journalism. And, uh, so we need to stand up. We, we need to stand with our president. Um, like him or not, he's our president. And, um, you know, a lot of people say a lot of bad things about him, but I mean, what I've seen him do, you know, tree by its fruit, and he's doing everything that he can do to help us out, and to make America great again, and um, I don't see him running around, uh, 
you know, starting wars all over the place and, and you know, selling arms to everybody and smuggling dope in and stuff. As a matter of fact, he's, he's been doing away with the opium fields and poppy fields over there in Afghanistan and stuff like that. And, you know, I mean, we, the drug ad addiction problem, opioid addictions, I mean, they act like, uh, you know, what happened? Well, you know, we had U.S. troops over in Afghanistan guarding the opium fields. I mean, what, it's always been arms out, drugs in. It's always been that way. I mean, the, Barry Seal, well, you know, it's to smuggle dope in for the CIA. I mean, it is common knowledge. I've, I've known it from at least a decade, at least. They even did a video, uh, American Made, I think, and I think Tom Cruise starred in it. So, I mean, this is a must, this is so much corruption and, and, and lies and deception going on today, and, and it just seems like people have lost their will to fight back. And uh, so many people just sitting waiting on the rapture to happen. And, hey, you know, I, I hope they're right, but my Bible says we ain't going anywhere to the last day. So, you know, this isn't a video about, you know, pre-trib, mid-trib, post-trib, anything else, but that's just my opinion. You know, Martha, when she was speaking about, the, you know, Lazarus being resurrected, she said on the last day, and she's talking to Jesus himself. Jesus didn't correct her, you know. So, uh, you know, the last day is the last day. It's all over the book of John, yet people want to believe in, a, you know, they're going to get out of here early, therefore they don't have to lift a finger. And uh, so I'm seeing a lot of cults, I'm, I'm, this black Hebrew Israelite thing, is it just, you know, the white man's the devil. The, you know, like I said, this rap news guy did a 20, 30 minute video about how the white man is the devil. I mean, it's crazy. They, they, they totally take uh, scripture out of context. You know, Galatians 3.28 says, hey, there, there's no Jew, there's no Gentile, there's no Jew, there's no Greek. Uh, there's no bond, there's no free, there's no male, there's no female. We're, we're all one in Christ Jesus. You know, you know racism is not is not part of the game, but it's a, it's Albert Pike's game. It's the Freemason game. It's the Illuminati game, divide and conquer. So, you know, we need to wake up to what's going on because things are, you know, going on. Serious things are going on in the skies. You guys look at the skies. I haven't seen a sunrise in at least two years. They come trail the sunrise out every single morning without fail and every afternoon at sundown. You, know, you can have blue skies, stars look like they're coming right down on your head, but uh, you know the, the horizon as the sun comes up, it's always come trout out. Why? They're hiding something, I can tell you. I've seen a planet that shouldn't be there. And uh, it was way, it was about the size of a, a harvest moon, it was big. It was totally in the wrong spot. <clears throat> and uh, I saw it one morning at sunrise a couple of years ago, and uh, then I saw something come in front of it and eclipse it, and um, then a cloud covered it, and the freaky thing was about five, ten minutes later when it cleared, it was totally gone. I mean, how's that possible? So they're, they're hiding things from us, and um, you've got guys like Matt Rogers and stuff, and they're, he's doing his best to expose... Um, you know what's going on, but so many people just have no clue what's going on. We got volcanoes, earthquakes, tsunamis. We've got water receding like a tsunami's coming in many places on the earth, and and, it, and the tsunami never comes. Eventually, you know, three, four, five hours, the, the water comes back. That's totally unprecedented. You know, they've tried to blame it on Hurricane Harvey. Uh, you know, a few months back. But, but now it's happening and there's no hurricanes going on. So what's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. It's end time, end time signs. And, um, you know, you got brother rising up against brother and, and conflicts in the family. And um, so, like I said, I, I, I just kind of got the blues today a little bit because I worry. I worry about you. And uh, I don't know how to wake more people up. I don't know how to get more people involved. And, um, 
you know, it seems like people are just uh, like Jesus talked about. Many people, you know, even though they receive the gospel, those that are willing to receive the gospels in the cares of life grow up and, and, and choke it out. And, you know, everything becomes a priority other than your relationship with God. And uh, Jesus says, hey, you know, he's going to say to many, I didn't know you. And um, I think a lot of Christians are going to be in that boat. They're, you know, he flat said, but Lord, what do you mean? Uh, we prophesied in your name. We did this in your name, that in your name. He says, yeah, I didn't know you. Depart from me. So, you know, I, I kind of got the blues, you know. I, and, I mean, even in the so-called church, I mean, you got people that follow false teachers. I mean, I, you know, I've been getting into this, doing a lot of research on Calvinism. I got a friend that's a Calvinist, man, and I've been looking at some of the doctrine. I mean, he'll sit and he'll bash Catholics all day long, but the, you know, the Calvinist doctrine is just as upside down as, as the Catholic doctrine or the Mormon doctrine or the Jehovah Witness doctrine. But um, and these people, they, they they hide the truth from you. You know, they, they, it's like when the Mormons come to your door and knock on the door, oh, yeah, we're Christians, we're Christians, but they're not. They teach a different Jesus altogether. They teach, you know, Satan is Jesus' brother. I mean, it's totally crazy. Satan is a created being. Jesus is a creator being. Big difference, folks. So, you know, it's like 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning. Oh, now I see 4.30. But um, I'm just I'm just kind of bugged, you know, and uh, so I just thought I'd vent a little bit and, and, and hope, you know, that, uh, you know, this video helps somebody and get some people to think because things be going on out there. And, uh, you know, with the fish kills, the animal kills, the bird die-offs, and the storms that, you know, unprecedented and, you know, snow in the Sierra, and <laughs> I mean, uh, the things that are going to be coming upon the earth pretty soon are going to make men's hearts fail from fear. And we're arguing over stupid things like budgets and, you know, false news about our pr good president. And um, I'm not saying he's a saint or anything, but. As far as I'm concerned, he's one of the best presidents we've had in many, many, many years, if not the best. So I guess time will tell him that. But uh, I totally support him, So, I, and I hope you guys too. So you do too. So do your best, folks. Get in the Bible. If you don't have time to read, get yourself an audio Bible and drive around and listen to it, you know, because... Where you spend your time is where your heart is. And um, if you're not out there confessing Christ to other people, Christ said he's not going to confess you to the Father. So you got a real problem. So, you know, do some work for the Lord and uh, show some gratitude and, and, and do what you can. I mean, it's not about works. I'm not preaching you know, works because we're saved by grace, you know, through faith. But um, also you do know a tree by its fruit. So look at yourself in the mirror and see what kind of fruit you got. Are you spending time trying to share Christ because it's getting real. And I'm just really, really concerned. So, you know, I, I hope this has helped somebody. And uh, God bless you, and you guys have a great day. Take care. I love you. God is love. Be loving. Take care now. Bye-bye.